Good evening. Topping our news tonight, a suspect remains on the loose at this hour after police say he made threats at a local hospital. Regional Hospital in Terre Haute was on lockdown for several hours as police searched for the suspect. News 10's Rondra Moore was on the scene all day. He has details on what happened. It all began with what officials call a series of threats at this hospital from a non-patient. Threats that were more than troubling. Information from his mother revealed that he did in fact have possession of a 25 caliber handgun and he would not hesitate to use it against law enforcement personnel. The Beagle County Sheriff Department believes that man is Richard Kenley. They received a call to place him under emergency detention. That's when officials put Regional Hospital on lockdown. But we're just exercising an abundance of caution to make sure uh, our patients and their family members and our staff are safe. Family and visitors of patients were removed from the building. And that led to several nervous moments for folks like Travis Gilmore. His wife is expecting a child, and they were in for a checkup. When they knocked on the door, they just asked me to leave, said that I had to go, and uh, were pretty insistent about just getting out the door as quickly as possible. During that lockdown, several police, deputies, and special response team members did a complete search of the hospital as well as a nearby building. After several hours, both buildings were cleared and eventually the lockdown was lifted. However, they did not find the suspect in either search. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Nick Nabesny, Rondrell Moore, News 10. Now take another look at Richard Kinley. This is a mugshot from a previous arrest. Deputies say he is about six feet tall, close to 240 pounds. He was last seen wearing a camouflage jacket and black pants. Deputies say he should be considered armed and dangerous. If you have details, you're being asked to call Crime Stoppers. You can find out how to submit a tip to Crime Stoppers by going to our website.